circuit workout. We're gonna cover several different exercises. We're gonna go through it together and you can do it for a different number of rounds depending on how much work you need. This should be fun. We're gonna cover a bunch of varied exercises. So let's do it. First thing, jump landing. You should be very familiar with this if you take classes here at APK or do part four. Um, but if not, what you're gonna to try to do is jump in the air and then land on the balls of your feet. Use your leg muscles to absorb all that impact from the landing. And you're just trying to land as quietly as possible. It's much more important how well you absorb that impact as opposed to how high you jump. Okay, next move, step throughs. These mimic the parkour step vault. So what you're gonna do is start on all fours, hands and feet, and you're going to just reach through with one foot, rotate your body, reach that bottom leg as far out as you can, almost like you're trying to touch something far away with your toe, and then switch to the other one. Next we have an ab and core exercise from the hollow position. What you're going to do is essentially separate your upper body and lower body. So you're going to try to keep your legs still while your shoulders come down and back up. Then you're going to try to keep your upper body still as you extend your legs and then bring them back in. Next we have a single leg squat variation called a skater squat. It looks like this. important things. You're going to try to keep this foot as flat on the ground as you can. Don't let that heel pop up off the ground. And try to keep this toe from touching the ground as you stand up. Just let your knee touch. The skater squat can be quite challenging for some people. So one way to make it easier is to use a chair or something else you can grab onto and just hold that. Let it steady you and you can use it to help stand up out of the body. Lastly, we've got a push-up variation. I call it a 360 push-up. What you're doing is from just a normal push-up position, you're going to be spinning a whole 360 degrees. I'll show you some different variations of it depending on your strength level. Top level challenge is to keep your feet together the whole time. If that's becoming too challenging for you, what you can do is bend one knee, bring that leg over, put your whole foot on the ground. That makes it quite a bit easier to get from uh, front to side to back and all the way around. Now on the push up itself, we emphasize full range of motion making sure you go all the way down and up. If you need to leave your legs down on the way up, that's one really great way to scale it. And finally, we're gonna put all of these moves together into a circuit. The goal is not to rush through, focus on form, and scale if you need to, even if it's in the middle of a set. So if you've gotten through half of your skater squats, and it's just feeling like it's a little bit too hard, grab a chair and make it a bit easier. Here are all the numbers for each exercise. Okay, I'm gonna do one round with you and then you can decide how many you wanna to do to challenge yourself.
that's going around. Decide what's a good challenge for you. Maybe one is good. Maybe two, three. If you get up to something like six, it's probably about the cap you want for this one. Anyway, good luck, have fun, keep moving, I'll see you tomorrow.